Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, hi. Um, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I have a long overdue empties video. You guys, this is going to take a, it's going to take a minute. So, um, I strongly suggest you possibly grab a drink and a snack and, um, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about everything I've been melting and burning for the past, like two and a half weeks. I'm also going to include today what I have in today. That way I can start fresh. So if you are interested to hear slash see and have some drinks with me while we talk about what I melted, keep on watching. So let's talk about number one. Y'all know the video. Uh, what am I wearing? I am wearing, well, they say it's called Kais or Kiss. Kais perfumes or Kiss perfumes. This one is called Delizia di Marshmallow. Yes, I know I got stuff in my nails. I was thought I got it all out. I was, I'm making sourdough. So after I wash my hands and knead the dough, I wash my hands again. And sometimes I don't notice that there's still stuff in here. So yes, I know I have a little bit of sourdough in my nails. Thanks for letting me know. Um, anyway, so Delizia di Marshmallow. This is just a fun, easy, sweet, delicioso perfume um your notes basically are marshmallow marshmallow vanilla and sugar that's it um kind of sort of has a um love don't be shy vibe because of the marshmallow vanilla and sugar however this is not as expensive doesn't have that orange blossom in there um, it doesn't have the other nuances in there that the um, Killian Love Don't Be Shy has. This is just you you just dipped yourself in some marshmallow and it's fun. It's light. It's easy. Um, nothing crazy. So um, it's going to be 102 today. We have some uh, the, the clouds kind of hazy because there's some fire starting around us so um i didn't want anything too heavy or crazy so there's that um what am i drinking a little different i kind of wanted some uh, white that was just a little heavier so i went with the 2021 bread and butter chardonnay this one um i so on the nose i pick up vanilla for sure. And I get a nuttiness. Um, I don't know. It's not buttery. So I don't think that's that salty. It's, it's not even a salty. There's no, there is not a butter vibe what I'm trying to say, but there is a nuttiness that I'm getting. Um, this is nice and creamy, not buttery. I love a buttery shard. I love a Chardonnay sometimes where you think I went to the movie theater and just put the liquid butter in my glass. I like that, but this is not it. This is just a really, um, creamy, nutty, vanilla Chardonnay. There is some fruit, but I don't, once again, I cannot figure out what fruit I am getting. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm picking up peach or nectarine. I don't know. I just know I'm getting some fruit, some nuttiness, some creaminess. I do pick up some vanilla. So that is what I'm sipping on. Uh, I have the house to myself today, by the way. Puppies at Puppy Play Care. 
y'all know he's not a puppy. He's five in October, but we still call him puppy. He's a baby. Why not? So puppies at play care. My daughter is at work until three o'clock. My husband's at work. Um, so this is just a perfect time to make my mess on this table. Um, do these hauls. Um, I do have some hauls to film after this. Um, but these empties have to, have to go. They, they got to get out of my house. So anyways, um, what am I burning right now? Burning, not burning. What am I melting right now, Stephanie? Those are words, correct words when you're talking about wax. So I originally was think I was in the mood for something foresty and sweet at the same time. But, um, when I was going through, when I was pulling out my cotton balls, um, in my box that I have my cotton balls and candle, uh, my lighter, um, I have, um, I had a bag of teddy bees that needed to be melted, um, because of it is a 2021 and it, I just, I wanted to melt it. So, um, I thought, I would do this with a couple of other fillers and throughout my house. So this is downstairs throughout all my house, 23 warmers throughout. Okay. So, um, I did Khaleesi. This is what I'm doing right now. Khaleesi, which is Palo Santo, Tonka bean, oud wood, warm vanilla sugar, and fireside. So I have this going in my, um, my tea lights and some of my um, plate warmers. And then in my um, light bulb warmers, I have the Sensi cinnamon vanilla. So this is vanilla beans, cinnamon, coconut, and cassia. So I have two of those going. And then I had um, probably two warmers, two or three warmers left over that didn't have anything in it. So for a filler, I put in Pharmacist's Daughter, World Famous Cookie. So I've been working on that. Um, this is kind of nice for me to use as a filler when I just want that extra sweetness. Um, this is just, this is a really, really pretty scent. I am not mad at this one at all. Um, this is house blend sugar cookies, iced almond cookies, coconut shortbread cookies. So this has that, that nuttiness, that almondy, that bakery that kind of helps tie the cinnamon vanilla and then this oud, the sweetness of the oud wood, the palo santo, the vanilla, the tonka. Um, this is a really pretty blend in my house. I'm not mad at it at all. I really am enjoying how my house is smelling right now. Um, like I said, I, I have a few different style warmers all throughout so that, um, if it doesn't work in one, it's going to work in the other somehow, some way it's going to work. So that, that's what I'm warming right now. So I can actually put those in the trash, which makes me very happy move my glass of wine because I will, I will, I will drop it. And these guys, if you want to know, um, this glass is called a Riedel glass. That's who, who manufactures this. Um, this God forbid you even sneeze on it. Very delicate glass. Um, I think think you can find some of the, well, the, you, you used to be able to find some at Bed Bath & Beyond. Ours closed nearby. I just get mine on Riedel's websites. Um, every now and then our winery will have a Riedel class and that's when you get a discount when they're there. So that's when I kind of stock up on my glasses. So anyways, that's what that glass is. Okay. You guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go with, so this, I'm going to talk about two candles that I probably will not be purchasing from again, only because they're one wick candles. I usually don't do one wicks. Um, they don't perform well in my house because 
open concept. And um, I mean, I could put them in my bathroom, but I just don't want to have, I just, I don't want to buy one wicks just for my bathroom. Most of my candles are the three and four wick. So I tend to go with that. Anyways, this one from Candleberry Company, Honey Buttered Rolls. I don't know if you can see this wick. You guys, these burn for freaking ever. They burn. I, I went through most of these other candles while this one was still this candle company. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, doesn't tell me. Anyway, so this one started off really good. I could really, really smell it. Um, but then as it just, as it kept burning, as I got to about here's when I, oh, when I got to about here's when I kind of stopped smelling it. I do smell it now though. Um, once again, I think if these were, they do have a larger, like a, ma a huge mason jar, uh, cookie jar. Um, but it's a hundred and some odd dollars, which is fine. But these candles last forever. <laughs> I don't know. I think I would get bored. I, I don't know. They smell good. I just, um, I don't get a whole lot of performance because of where I put them in my open concept. And like I said, I just don't know if I want to store these. I don't know. I'm just not wowed. They're not bad. I just... Next one, pink sugar. Um, this one started to move over. You can see that. This one, where did I have? So this one I had on the dining room table right in front of me. This one I had next to me, um, which I'm glad because when I was paying attention to it, I could see that and I burnt it out immediately. Wasn't a whole lot left. However, once again, these last forever. So if you want a candle that's going to last you longer than you live by all means grab one of these um they they do smell good i feel like these are on par sometimes i get more scent out of them than i do with the four wicks the homeworks however i just i love the blends of the homeworks much more than than this that's what i'm trying to say so that or that's those candles. Next, we're going to go with the Kringle. So what I did have in my bathroom was the Mon Amour. This one is um, pretty much kind of like a dupe for um, Baccarat Rouge by 40. I wouldn't say a dupe, but it's, um, it's a cousin. It's a, it's a sister. This was nice, but it's light. I had this one I had in my bathroom, my guest bathroom, and I could hardly smell it. So I'm kind of bummed that I bought two. I have the other one going, not going right now, but I have the other one in my bathroom with the door closed so that when I walk in, I can smell it. But that's a lot of work to try and smell a candle. So I will not be purchasing any more of these. Um, I mean, it's, it's like the perfume, the perfume does a, does a, does a disappearing slash reappearing trick on you. And it's the molecules. It, it's what he, how he made that perfume and the molecules he used. And sometimes you think you don't, you don't smell like you feel like the perfume has gone. I trust promise you it is not gone people around you can smell it i promise you so i feel like something in that in that chemistry that makeup of that perfume is also in some of these waxes and perfumes or waxes and candles because every wax and candle that i've gotten that has the baccarat rouge 540 makeup um just is super light it smells absolutely stunning when you can smell it but then it it's really light and i want my candles and my wax i want it to i want to smell 
I'm okay if it does a disappearing trick on me on my skin because I know the moment I turn this way or that way or the wind blows through my hair, I'm going to smell it again on myself. That's just the way that perfume is. Um, but in my candles and my wax, I just, I want to smell it because it is a truly beautiful scent. Um, so that's all I got to say about that one. Next one is going to be um, Juicy Strawberry. This one was good. It smelt a little like soapy strawberry to me. Yeah, I, I didn't get fresh, juicy, fresh off the vine strawberry. It is a strawberry, but it smelt almost like bubble, um, almost like Mr. Bubbles, like a, like a soapy strawberry is what I got. Um, and I'm glad they changed the, the black. They painted it instead of whatever they did a different paint to it because there, there was a couple times that this was burning and I totally forgot that it was burning cause you can't see nothing. Um, so you have to be careful with that. If you have the older style of this, um, definitely rem remind yourself that you are burning a candle in a black jar. Yeah, it was, it was okay. Like I said, it was like Mr. Bubbles, a soapy strawberry. I won't get that again at all. Um, okay. Next I did pumpkin clove from Bath and Body Works. This one, this is a little juicy. Look at the bottom. Um, this one is clove buds, ground cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg and fresh pumpkin. This is one of my favorites. This is from last year or the year before. I think this is from the year before. I can't read it. Um, I did not get a whole lot of scent on this, which I'm bummed because this is one of my favorites. Um, once again, like I said, though, it was from, I think either last year or the year before that. So, um, I, I smell it, but it wasn't, it wasn't super strong. I wasn't picking up a whole lot on the nutmeg or the pumpkin. Like I usually would on this one. Um, I did get a, I did get a scent like a, um, like a fallish vibe scent but it wasn't, um, it wasn't how I normally enjoy this one, which is this one's pretty much a, this is like a five, six, sometimes even a seven for me. And I was getting barely a five. And when I did smell it, it just wasn't wowing me like it used to. So I don't know if my nose has changed. Um, I, even on cold, I love the smell of this. I, I purchased more, so I don't know what's going on with that one. Next one is one that my husband picked out, Mike picked out the pumpkin bonfire. Um, it was more bonfire than pumpkin. I really enjoy this. I mean, when we picked it up and he smelt it, he could really smell it. Um, and I got the pumpkin and I got the bonfire, but once I burned it, I got much more bonfire than anything else. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, I don't know. And it was about a five. So nothing crazy. It was good. I, I, I'm sure if I had this up in my bedroom with the, it, not even with the door closed, if I had this up in my bedroom, I would, I would feel like there was a bonfire going outside my window, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see. I bought more because Mike could really smell it and he enjoyed that. So I got more. We'll see uh, what happens. I don't know if it just needs more cure time or what. No, we'll see. All right. So what is next? Um, I did creamy caramel candy from Homeworks. This one is um, golden caramel, buttered rum, vanilla bean, and brown sugar. This one smells amazing on cold. 
Um, I had this going on my coffee table in my living room and I could smell it every now and then, but I don't know if you could see, like it was kind of this weird, like, do you see that ring right here? Like it was just this weird, like there was actual caramel in here. I don't know. Um, but I mean, it burnt, it burnt all the way down. So I'm not mad at it. Um, I got a little bit of caramel. I had it in a hurricane. I have most of my candles in a hurricane because I'm trying to get the best performance out of them. And um, I'm going to say even with the hurricane, it was about a four, maybe a four and a half on uh, strength and throw. When I got around it, I could smell it. Other than that, it wasn't really giving me a whole lot. So that's another one. I'm not sure. I don't know if I have another one of these. I will say I'm going to save some, this summer collection for next year and see how it works um, and see if it just burns better, melts better. One other one that I did that actually worked really well. This one is the macadamia Mai Tai. So pineapple, coconut water, tropical sea salt, toasted vanilla cream. This one, I actually got about a six out of this one. I was super, super impressed. Um, I can't smell anything now. It's a nice burn. I got a little yucky here on the end. I was really babying these, um, these wicks, keeping an eye on it. Um, so I don't know why that happened. Um, so yeah, it, it was a good, it was good, but, um, I was hoping for some more macadamia and there's, e there's not even macadamia nut in here, pineapple, coconut water, tropical sea salt, toasted vanilla cream. So I think that that nuttiness that you're getting is the toasted vanilla. Um, but that being said, at five and a half, six, I was really impressed this with, with this one even though there was no macadamia in here. Um, I, I got the vanilla, I got a little bit of the pineapple, um, and there was a creaminess to it, which I appreciate, especially with, with that fruit in there, the pineapple. Um, you guys know I love fruits, but it's gotta be with bakery or with some forest, or it's gotta be creamy. I don't like just the fruit by itself sometimes because it's too scratchy, too tart. Um, and for me, that is headache inducing. It just, it's too sharp for me. So yeah, macadamia Mai Tai. Um, this is, I had another one that I've already melted, burnt. And um, I just wanted to get through this one. And I'm glad I did that. It was, it was pretty. Uh, next one I did was Harvest Donut. So this is fresh pumpkin, ginger, donut accord, and clove. Very nice. This one, we're talking about a five. Smells much better on cold. I got everything I wanted to on cold, and then I was burning it. And every now and then I would get a whiff of it because I had this right next to me where sometimes I sit on my recliner and I would get a whiff of it and it would make me so happy. So when I did smell it, super enjoyable. Absolutely got a harvest donut scent out of that. But it, it just was not a constant giver. It was kind of, it was kind of greedy. And um, I don't know if I'm paying you money. I don't need you to be greedy about it. Just saying. So there's that. All right. Next one. This one actually did really well. This one I bought last year. Uh, I think it was Christmas in July last year. This is sticky bread pudding. So caramel, cinnamon, vanilla bean, and spiced butter. This one was fan freaking tastic. This was close to a seven. I was thoroughly shocked and enjoyed it. Super happy about that. Um, this was, this made me crave like just sticky bread pudding. I was craving 
or rice pudding. Like it just gave off this gooey breadiness um, and the sugar. It was so pretty. If you can get your hands on one of these, if you can find one, I strongly suggest it. Very pretty. Um, and the last two, I did two of them. This is Fantastic Fudge. So Fantastic Fudge is a dark chocolate, espresso, drizzled caramel, creamy coconut, tonka bean, black vanilla, and brown sugar. This is also part of that collection um, that I bought, I think, Christmas in July last year. You guys, this that dark chocolate and espresso so good this was not super strong this but it was consistent so it wasn't being greedy it was consistently telling me hey i'm here and i was super happy about that so it i'm gonna say it was about a five and a half six but it was like that the whole time beginning to end from the moment i lit it till I was done lighting it. And even then, while that wax was still warm, I was still smelling it. Um, I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get more of this, but I'm glad that I got to enjoy it because this was super, super freaking pretty. So fantastic fudge. All right. So we have now moved on to the wax melts you guys i gotta move that out of the way so i'm gonna show you this is my little basket that i have up in my bedroom um i have an old um writing desk that was handed down from i think it was my great grandmother's so it still has the little flap so i have two baskets in there i have and i have one basket that has all my little samples and stuff like that that I want to try. And then the other one for my empties. So we are just going to, we are just going to, I'm going to pick up from the top and we're going to move along. This is multi vendors, you guys. So there's some Scentsy mix in. I am not going to separate um, the Scentsy from everything else. Um, I'm a lover of wax and all wax. And I know some people just want to hear about Scentsy. So, um, you can put me on pause until you see me hold up a Scentsy bar, but honestly, in my opinion, I feel like you're selling yourself short when you're just focusing on Scentsy, my opinion, because there's amazing scents out there that, and you will see, I combine a bunch of different things and I do use Scentsy, but, um, just, um, keep an open mind with these other vendors because they are well-deserved and of love and admiration. Um, so I'm just saying, however, if you still don't agree, that's fine. Put me on pause until you see what I have to say about some of these Scentsy bars. So, um, okay. So we're, I'm just picking off the top, which means it's from what I just kind of melted to two weeks ago. We're going to do it that way. So up in the bedroom all over, um, I wanted something super cozy and, and delicioso. So I did the Teddy Bees, which is big crazy. So birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla. Um, this was um, absolutely, and still, it, this, is, this is a beautiful bakery. Um, the cinnamon's not a crazy cinnamon. It's not overly, um, it's not to me, I don't get a red hot cinnamon, but the, um, and the, the pecan waffles, I'm, I'm not going to say it's pumpkin pecan waffles. Cause that's not what she has here. She just has pecan waffles. So I'm going to assume that's all it is. Um, so birthday cake, the pecan waffles and the sugar cookie dough. Um, it is bready. It is, um, sugary, but that pecan, um, kind of helps, um, keep it in my opinion from being overly sugary as well as the, the cinnamon that kind of gives it a slight spicy, but it's not, once again, it is not crazy on the cinnamon. This was just a beautiful 
cozy, um, just a, a really beautiful scent. This is, people love this and absolutely they should because it's well-deserved of love. So um, next one I did, which um, I had never, this is the first time I've actually tried. This was from a D-Stash. Um, this is scoopable wax melts. She is having, I think on the first, she's got a sale going on and I have my list, but, um, this is orange Danish three cakes. So yellow cake, birthday cake, orange Danish and cupcakes at Tiffany's. You guys, I have found a new love with orange, orange Danish cranberry orange. Um, this was so pretty. This lasted over eight hours in my room. This was so freaking pretty. And that orange and that Danish was just so it was bright, but it was cozy if that makes sense. So, um, I'm definitely excited because the sale that she's having is a three cake, three cakes sale. So, um, the three cakes sale is yellow cake, birthday cake and cupcakes at Tiffany. So, and then she'll add something else to it. That's what the blend is going to be. So I am so excited that I got to try this. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing because I, ha I made my list. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there we go. Uh, orange Danish three cakes a beautiful, beautiful scent. And, um, I'm excited to try more of that. That was a, a good performer as well. It wasn't, it didn't blow me out of my room. Remember all of this is in my bedroom. It didn't blow me out of my room. Um, it just, it was just a beautiful, it was almost like someone was baking downstairs and I could smell it up in my room. So pretty. Um, the other one, you guys, stunning, 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 stunning. Loved it. And I want more of it. Um, this is from Second and Spruce. Um, I have not melted anything from Second and Spruce yet. I'm, I'm buying, I'm just waiting for it to cure a little bit longer, but I, I had to, um, she's another one that's, uh, coming up on, um, no lavender and speckled. Nope. Second and spruce. Erica is coming up on, um, on the first, she's also having a sale. I also have my list, but I really wanted to melt something, um, from hers while I'm waiting for my other order, my other past order to cure. Long story short, Sorry, you guys. Roasty toasty. So roasted pine cones and sweet bakery spices. Um, I broke this up into uh, four. I cut it down here and here and put it in the four warmers in my bedroom. I did not put it in my bathroom or my hallway. Oh my gosh. This was beautiful. It was um, it was that roasted pine cones and then the bakery and a little bit of spice. It wasn't, um, heavy on the spices. I didn't stick my nose in cinnamon or allspice or anything like that. Um, it just created this, this coziness to it. Um, I would say this warmth, but yeah, it, it was, it was this warmth. I mean, I I've been waking up with hot flashes lately and it, I have not been able to open up my windows because it's just been so warm here at night instead of the nice cool breeze that we usually get here in the Bay area. But, um, it was just this cozy, warm bakery, um, stunning. So beautiful. Erica, so freaking beautiful. I am, um, I'm excited to start melting what I have. I don't think I'm going to wait anymore. So next one is sassy girl Doughboy bakery. This was also from a D stash. Um, it was good. It was, it was doughy and it was bakery. 
I love Sassy Girl. Sassy Girl does a frick amazing in my house. Um, but this kind of, I mean, 922, I, I don't know how this was stored once again, but I, it was just, it, it was basic. It was pretty, but it was, it was just kind of like, oh, I, I smell dough. I smell bakery, which is fine. I love it. Um, but I, there's so many other ones from Sassy Girl that I, I would want to get over this one. But if you just want a plain bakery that you can use as a mixer, this is, that's, that's it. And it, and it performed really well. That, like I said, Sassy Girl performs fantastic in my room. Um, another one I truly love, L3. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie royale, and Hufflepuff. And Hufflepuff is um, fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. I love Hufflepuff. I would love to get more of that. I am. I don't have anything fall from L3. All my L3 right now is boxed up and put away because it's all spring summer in my head. I have no pumpkin and fire and pecan and and all of that. I don't have any of that from L3. Sorry, I'm not I don't mean I don't know what I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. <laughs> um yeah, so this was so pretty. L3 also is another one that does amazing in my house. So I am going to be stocking and keeping my eyes open for L3. I know that she just, um, she has scoopables, but I want, I, I don't, scoopables are okay, but it's not my preferred method of wax. So I'm waiting till she comes out with like, um, the chunks or, um, the loaves and stuff like that. That's what works for me really well in my house and, and Stephanie brain. So yeah, there's that. Next one is from Swanky. This is pink fireside cream cake. I was truly shocked by this. You guys, I um, also split this up in four. I was really pleasantly surprised by this one. This cream cake, um, I, for some reason I was thinking pink fireside cream cake. I, I was thinking it was going to be more bakery, but it is, it's not, it is, there's a bakery, but that creaminess, it was almost on the verge of being, um, body care perfume like but the um because of that fireside I think um and then you have a cream cake so it kind of it just take my word for it I was really surprised by this this one um I I don't leave my wax in until I can't smell it anymore I have so much wax that I I'm just loving um I know that it's been in for about four five six hours and um i'm getting ready to go upstairs i know i'm going to go to bed in the next hour and a half two hours i'll go upstairs and change it so that by the time i get upstairs it's already melted and permeated in the room so i'm kind of switching out my wax in my bedroom at least two times a day and um so I don't, I couldn't tell you how long these are lasting. I can just tell you I'm getting really amazing performance out of these. Um, and it's, I mean, this one, so pretty, so pretty. Okay. Lavender and speckles. I got four bags in a D stash. I've melted two or three so far. One of them was a pumpkin one. I don't, that's the one you guys that I don't know what I'm smelling in there. It is very harsh and, and chemically chemical to me. And it's a pump, it's a pumpkin one. I smell no pumpkin and I keep going back to it. So I don't, I, I have no clue. I don't even know if I'm going to melt that one. How about what I've been burning from lavender and speckles? 
Beth is doing an amazing job and I, I kind of, I, I did buy some stuff. I did buy some stuff from her last one. I bought more than stuff. So my list was also long with her because, um, that's another one that I wanted to, to at least get some of these, um, waxes melted before I made my list and continued further. You guys, I'm new to this. I, I have been a candle lover and then for years and then about a year and a half, almost exactly a year and a half ago. Well, more like just a year ago. Um, I started really getting into Scentsy and um, kind of went crazy uh, June, July, August, September, October, and then started watching wax videos and people kept holding up stuff like this. And I was like, wait, what is that? How do I find vendor wax? What am I doing? Um, so I really honestly just started getting into vendor wax probably around November, December of last year. So I still really knew some of these um, melted mousse I've never tried, Dessa's I've never tried, Scoopable Wax I've never tried, Yummer's Delight I've never tried. Um, I have three, <laughs> honestly, that I have, that have been tried and true in my house, that that's kind of all I knew. Um, so it's been so fun well and bake breaking not really um it's been it's been fun making my list and trying these new vendors and 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 reaching out with my um my scent wheelhouse so long story short lavender and speckles um i have enjoyed what i have been melting from her so up in my bedroom birthday donut shop so this one is um birthday cake blended with cinnamon sugar donuts this one so pretty in my room um it was giving me about a six seven on strength and throw and my room was beautiful it was bakery it was sweet it was just mm, snuggly and i loved it so I am excited that I got what I got a couple days ago on her, um, on her pre-order. So excited to get some of these in. I'm so excited to get all of them in. Who are we kidding? So anyways, there's that. L3, Hufflepuff. This one was a bunt that I cut up. Um, it was six. I was able to cut it up into six. So four warmers in my bedroom, one warmer in my bathroom, and then one in my entryway. Hallway entryway upstairs. This is just the fresh baked cookies, cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. One of my favorites. Um, so one of the things I wanted to try, I was talking to Anya from Wickless with Curly Q. She was asking my opinion on this one because she was melting it. She had a question. She just wanted to like verify is she smelling the same? Is she smelling? What was she smelling? And did I get the same smell? So I went upstairs and put this in, in all my warmers. Um, it was very much a apple, apple sauce tartness with a, and maybe there, it just wasn't my favorite. The, the metallic, there, there was just a note in there that was not what I was hoping for with this Dutch apple bread. I was hoping for some more bread, some doughy, some yeasty, and it wasn't that. It was, um, it wasn't that. So the notes on this is sliced apples, warm cinnamon, brown sugar, and rolled oats. I will not be putting this, I will not be purchasing this again. And I obviously not going in my club. I'm glad I got to warm it and experience it. And I'm glad I'm done. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Um, I did white pumpkin and driftwood from Sensi. This one is 
This one is white pumpkin, driftwood, white cardamom, and amber. This one, um, I liked it and I didn't like it. And then I liked it and then I didn't like it. Um, I, it, it was, it was almost like it was trying to figure out what it wanted to do. Um, it was slightly, it, it was on the verge of being colony versus just a masculine. And then it went from that to, oh, I smell the white pumpkin and I smell the driftwood and this is really pretty. And then, oh, it's, it's almost too much colony for me. And no, that's not what I want. And so it, it went too back and forth for me for me to really um, enjoy it. So Teddy B's, um, I just got a, um, a low from her and it's the, the vanilla pumpkin and cashmere. That's exactly what I was hoping from this because it has the birch in there. Um, it, that's what I wanted this to be. And it makes me really, really sad because when I did like this, I loved it, but it was just being super, um, like that. It didn't know what it wanted to do. And I don't, I don't have time to figure out what it wants to do. I needed to do what I needed to do. And that's smell pretty in my room. <laughs> um, pink leather, you guys, this is, I bought more of this and it's going in my club. <laughs> Natalie from Jersey Shore Living was right. Um, I do love this one. I pick up the strawberry. There's no such thing as pink leather, by the way, you guys. Um, I don't know if they're trying to say it's like, it's light on the leather. There's no leather's leather. It, it's neither masculine nor feminine. It's, it's leather. Um, the difference is going to be what you're blending with it. And, um, is it, is it heavy leather? Is it, are you, are you putting a lot of leather oils in here or is it just light on the leather? So my guess when it says, strawberry toasted vanilla and pink leather my guess is is that pink leather there's probably a little bit of sugar on here just slightliness there there's some sweetness on here other than the strawberry that's making them want that's giving it this really beautiful feminine leathery vibe so i get what they say when they say pink leather but there's no such thing as a pink leather scent or a feminine or a masculine leather scent. Just know that, okay? This one, you guys, though, I, so freaking pretty. I, uh, it's in my club. I bought more of it. Beautiful. So freaking pretty. Um, well done, Sensi. Thank you for um, allowing me to smell in this bar what you actually put in it. I'm not going to say anymore. Okay. Next one up in the bedroom was Teddy B's Winterfell. This one is Marshmallow Fireside Palo Santo with Birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. This one is also from, this is from 2021 from a D stash. Um, so pretty. So the, um, the icy snow is a little bit of mint. I could, I could do this one. This one was, um, very, I don't want to say very Christmassy, but it, it just had this, um, this foresty vibe to it with that, with that mint. Um, I, I want more of this one. If I can find some, I'm getting more this was really pretty. Um, this is the kind of mint I can do. It, it's not, um, it's not taking over the search of Winterfell. It's, um, it's making, it's in the back of the line, making sure no one's staggering behind them. That's what it's doing. And this was so pretty. Um, cranberry zucchini bread. You guys, 
This one is um, the K scented melts. I wasn't sure how, I, this is what I'm talking about, that the orange Danish and this, this cranberry zucchini bread. When I, I don't know if you remember, when I smelt this sample, when I did my K's haul, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know about this one. I wasn't sure how I felt about it. Put this next to my bed. It was just one little one cube. I put it in the warmer right next to my bed where I sleep. And I was in love. This cranberry zucchini bread was stunning. This was just, um, man, this gave me Christmas vibes. This gave me like, you walked into grandma's house and she's been baking for 20 days. She has been Every single person in the family has a tray of cookies that they get to take home. It is just this, and there's spice bread and there's ginger. It just gave me that vibe of this just cozy, warm hug, like Olaf. It was a cozy hug. And this is so pretty. Um, so this is on my list, cranberry zucchini bread. Um, the the stuff that I want again, I am, I don't know if I should keep these. I think I'm just going to make my list of, of what to buy again. And this is one I want. Cranberry zucchini bread. Do not sleep on that, you guys. I mean, obviously with K's, you can order when you want. This was so pretty. So pretty. Okay. This is from Enchanted Scent Memories. I don't know who that is. Um, this was on a D stash. This is espresso ice cream. This one I put in my bathroom um, during the day. I didn't really want it in my room during the day, but it was in my bathroom. And when I was doing laundry, I would walk by it and smell it. And it smells like espresso ice cream. It's the weirdest thing. I, it's not the, I don't get the coolness of ice cream, but it's that, that milky, milky ice cream vibe with the espresso. So this was fun. I, I mean, I've never heard of them. I don't know if they're still in, um, in business anymore or what, but if you are interested in a espresso ice cream, that's going to smell like espresso ice cream. You should get that one. Next one is Traverse Traverse City Wax Co. This is Snickerdoodle Zucchini. This was also a little doodly doot that I put next to my bed. This one smelled good. Um, it was not for me a super long laster, but it was nice. Um, it was it was a bakery. I I couldn't tell you that I got zucchini or that I got Snickerdoodle but it was a really nice bakery. Um, this is also one Traverse City Wax Company that I have never tried um, other than a sample. So that's also on my list of things I should try. Um, Vintage Chic Scents. This is actually, um, this is Huckleberry. I'm not a huge fan of Huckleberry. This was in a D stash. Um, this is going in three warmers. There was only like three cubes in here. Um, and I didn't want it all in my bedroom because what did I melt last? I can't remember. It was one of those guys that I melted last night. Um, I just didn't want, um, I'm not a huge fan of Huckleberry. Uh, since he had a Huckleberry Reef one and I just, mm -mm. so this one's okay. I'm not, is I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not a Huckleberry fan, so I won't, I would not repurchase this. It just, it smells, it smells like a, a berry, but there's a weird, there's a weird vibe to it. So yeah. Uh, Twilight Garden Wax. Also, this was a itty bitty, look at that guy. Sunday Brunch. This one last night I put in the warmer right next to me. I couldn't smell it at all. So, um, that's kind of a bummer. And I feel like I'm getting a little bacon on here. So Sunday brunch, I don't, I felt, 
in the bag, I feel like I got a little bacon and bakery, but I couldn't tell you. So, all right. All you need is love. Don't remember. Don't know who. Obviously, it was a little square. Sorry, I don't remember. L3, churro, churro, churros, banana cream pie, sweet cream, vanilla wafers. This one, yes, please. And thank you. I would like more. Um, this one, uh, I think there was a couple of little shapes in here that I put in um, the warmer, my element warmers. All, all night. Um, my husband has the Sensi um, Peter Pan warmer or Tinkerbell warmer ne next to his bed. So obviously that gets turned off. Um, but the rest of the other three warmers are element warmers. So there's no light. So I had these going so I could smell it throughout the night. Um, I do remember this one was really nice. Um, the banana cream pie, super good, was not overly um, generic on the banana, <clears throat> excuse me. And I think because the churros and vanilla wafer just kind of helped um, surround that banana with love. Um, this is the second time I've tried Surfside Sweet Shop from Teddy B's. I got a little better performance on this one than the first one that I got. Both of these are from D stashes. The first one I got was like from, it was a 2020 um, and it just was looking a little sad and pathetic and I just felt like I needed to give it some love. So I put it throughout my whole house and I could hardly smell it. This one, I definitely got a better, um, a better performance up in my bedroom. This one is from 2022. So birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats. Um, I'm not sure if this is one I'm going to reach out and try and, and get again. Um, there's other ones that perform better and that I like better. I don't know what it is about this that I just <clears throat> am not picking up a whole lot. Um, and it, like I said, it, it performed better but I was still um, wanting to smell more, if that makes any sense. So, all uh, right, Cider Donut Cookie Land. This is from Wax Girls. This is Cider Donut, Confetti Cake, Toffee Butterscotch, and Cookies from Rose Girls. This one, I think, had four cubes in here. Yes, four or six cubes. So pretty. Um, this, I was surprised by the cider donut. I was a little nervous about that one, but the toffee butterscotch, I love butterscotch, um, and toffee in, um, in some of my wax. Um, so you had the confetti cake and the cookies so that I, I could get the apple <clears throat> in the cider. Sorry. And it, it definitely did, um, it was there, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't screaming for my attention. So I, I really enjoyed this one as well. Another one from L3, Danish butter cookies, orange cranberry muffin. This is another one that made me fall in love with the orange cranberry Danish vibe. Once again, you guys, something about that orange and cranberry and the Danish and the bakery just gives it this super love, loving coziness. I don't know what it is that I get that reaction from. Um, I, I couldn't tell you. I just know that I really am just enjoying that combination. Um, it pretty love it all right pumpkin pecan waffles from k's melted this is also um from i don't is this i don't think this is from a d stash i think oh it could be it's at the bottom couldn't tell you i can't remember i don't think this is a d stash <clears throat> this one you guys that it just it's getting more and more cloudier not cloudier but um 
the wind is picking up. So that smoke mm -hmm. that's coming from some of the other counties. Um, I mean, it was really, the air was really yucky this morning. And now that the wind is picking up, it's kind of stirring it up. And I'm for somehow, for somehow, for some reason, it's getting, I think that's what's giving me that little scratchiness. Um, so pumpkin pecan waffles, typical pumpkin pecan waffles. This was really pretty. Um, there are other scents that I want from K's more than pump, pumpkin pecan waffles, but this one was really pretty. It was not overly, um, syrupy, like some pumpkin pecan waffles can be. It wasn't, wasn't like that. Um, vanilla suede from Teddy B's beautiful, beautiful vanilla suede. I would say, um, I enjoyed this one just as much as I enjoy Scentsy's. Uh, Scentsy for me is more accessible and easier to get to. Number one, it's in my club. <clears throat> I love it. This one was also just as pretty. It's, it gave me the same vibes. I feel like it was pretty much on par with, um, Scentsy. So Teddy B's vanilla suede. Um, if you didn't get it in, um, in Scentsy's and Teddy B's comes back with that, I would get it really, really pretty. Next one is blueberry sugar donuts from Sassy Girls. Was not a huge fan. I'm not, a, I like blackberry, but blueberry and huckleberry are the two ones that I just am not, um, we can be acquaintances. We can say hi and, and wave, but we're not hanging out. It's not happening. Also from Sassy Girls, Radiant Leaves. This one, so pretty. This was fall in the cup. So pretty. You should get it. I think I have some. I think I have some in some brittles. If not, I'm going to be looking out for some because I loved the way this smelled. Um, if you did this one in the cranberry orange. You would have people asking to come over and hang out. I would be that person. Okay. This is from Yummer's Delight. This is from a D stash. You guys, fried dough and milk. <laughs> I love this one. Uh oh, I got wax in my hair. Or a piece of hair in my, or something in my hair. Anyways, um, fried dough and milk from Yummer's Delight. This was so fun. It almost gave me peanut butter cookie vibes. Like you're sitting there with peanut butter cookie and a glass of milk. That's the vibe I got. Um, I love this one. This was so good. Um, glad I got to try that going on my list of stuff to buy again. Not buy again, but purchase. It was in it from a D stash. Last two from my bedroom. We're an hour long. Um, I might split this up in two. I don't know. Okay. Um, this one, Fantasy Wax Melts. Have not tried from them before. This is from a D stash. This is Banana Nut Bread. This was so pretty. I think I have found um, another fruit to add to my what fruits I like. So we got blackberry. I like blackberry strawberry, strawberry pound cake, strawberry shortbread, lemon, lemon curd, lemon drizzle. I do like key lime. I like banana. So pretty. Um, yeah, this was really nice. I have, um, a banana nut bread. It's a scentsy bar that was given to me in a friend mail from Anya Wickless with curly Q and I want to melt it, but I don't want to melt it, but I'm going to melt it because I want to really enjoy, um, she, she sacrificed her bar to send to me and, I'm, and I would be doing it a disservice if I didn't melt it with love and enjoy every second of it. So, um, but banana nut bread, that's an, that's a new, um, find for me. And I'm, that makes me happy. I'm excited for that. Um, Knowles farm sense. This is the first time. 
I have melted. I purchased from him, but I have not melted his stuff yet. I was kind of waiting for that to cure. Um, sugar cookie dough bread. Ooh, this one, you guys. Amish friendship bread, zucchini bread, and sugar cookie. So pretty. This one was, um, I, and I know it's, you know, you're thinking, okay, well, well, you just said sassy girl dough boy bread or whatever that one was, was just a plain bakery. There was something else to this that just, um, it just put a smile on my face and it just had this beautiful, you know why it's friendship bread. I don't know. It, this was good though. I, um, I have my list because he's also has his sale coming out on September 1st as well. Travis does. Um, so you guys don't buy all that. Don't buy everything. Save some. Get my spirit fingers ready. There's a lot going on on September 1st. And, um, and I have my list for Knowles. I have my list, Travis, just letting you know. Okay. So let move and run along downstairs. I finished up um, baked apple pie. So flaky crust, apples, and spices. Finished up a brick of that. This one, I like this apple pie. Um, it's a good, um, also a good blender for other scents that might be too spicy or too foresty or just, it, it's a good blender. And, um, I really just wanted to use it up. I like this one. I pick up the apple, but it's not a sour apple. It does smell like a baked apple. So not mad at that. Um, this one, Heidi from Salt Melt Melt, finished up a bag of this one. You guys, this almost gave me, um, I know that it's got, hold on. Let me read the notes, shall we? Let's read notes. Cashmere cedar, sugar cookie, marshmallow fireside. I think this cashmere cedar is doing something to the sugar cookie and the marshmallow. Um, I, I almost felt like I got um, from Tom Ford, one of my favorite perfumes. I baby this perfume because you guys, it is expensive but I love this perfume. Um, tobacco vanille. That one, it, for some reason gave me that vibe. And, um, and I went upstairs to smell it. I'm like, that's, that's it, but it's not it. Um, I don't know. I don't know you guys. I, this was really pretty though. I am glad I have, I have one of these coming in in a pre-order and I'm so glad I do. This was the fireside and, um, the sweetness and this cashmere. It just gave off a beautiful perfumey, not like I said, I, I felt like I was getting tobacco vanilla, but when I went upstairs to smell it, it, it was there, but it wasn't there. So beautiful scent, not overly bakery, but it's got that, that coziness to it. Um, another one is nail in the coffin from pharmacist daughter. So nail in the coffin is mm -hmm, espresso, sugar, cookie dough, pie crust, zucchini bread, funnel cake, and toasted marshmallow. Um, so this is one that I was also kind of, um, inter alternating warmers, this and the baked apple pie. And so pretty nail in the coffin. Absolutely. That's one. Don't sleep on it. Get it really pretty. Huh? What did I do with this? Oh, okay. So whispering woods from Teddy bees. So this is noble furs, pine needles, cedar, smoldering woods, and sandalwood from 2021. However, when I pulled it out, I realized that it was ripped. So it's strong, but, oh, I melted it with, oh, I did both of these together, Whispering Woods and Roan's Prairie. So Roan's Prairie is barnwood, leaves type, 
and smoke from the bonfire. Um, so this together was potent. And my daughter came downstairs and she said, it smells like church. <laughs> it smelled like incense. And I don't want my house to smell like church. I was hoping for more of um, the barn wood and the leaves, but I think whispering woods, something about this combination just did not work. It was, it, I wasn't getting the forest and the bonfire. There was more incense to it and I can't figure out what it would be. Probably the smoke from the bonfire and the smoldering woods. I don't know. That's probably what was giving it that incensey smoky vibe. I love them both separately, but I will not be, um, I won't be, I won't be melting it together again. <laughs> it was just too much. Um, okay. One I truly enjoyed Oak Cider and Woods from Teddy B's. This is the loaf. So warm mold cider, um, Oak vanilla, toasted marshmallow, pine cones and smoked woods. So pretty. This one was, um, cidery, but the, um, oh, this is so pretty, but the, the woods, the smokiness, the pine cones, it, this is so pretty. Um, I can, this cider I can do as well. Um, pretty beautifully blended. Um, I, I wish I had more of this. I don't have more of this, but this is going on my list of what to look out for. So, all right. This is one I did last night. So yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram and Facebook, my, we are adding to our pirates of the Caribbean and we're, we're not done. We need, I'm waiting for more coins to come in. So I didn't have, you know, my mom was over taking my daughter to work, doing errands. Like I just didn't put anything in my warmers. Um, and standing around and I probably should have, we were standing around gluing coins, fake coins on gold material all day yesterday, about five hours, 2000 coins. I can't tell you how many glue sticks, <laughs> but by the time my mom left, um, I, I was ready for, oh, I was ready for something just cozy and, um, it, other things were going on and I just, I just needed a, a nice coziness going on in my house. So I did from sassy girl house of cider. And then I did from Scentsy spiced apple chestnut. So Sassy Girl's House of Cider is juicy apples and honey with warm spices such as cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove with the warm base of sandalwood, tonka, and vanilla. I, if you guys can finally hear me, I have my microphone here and I realized that my shirt was over it. So I'm hoping I'm already an hour, 13 minutes. If this doesn't turn out, I'm not, it's whatever. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, so House of Cider from Sassy Girls and then Scentsy's Spice Apple Chestnut. This one is Apple, Maplewood, and Spice Rum. This was really pretty in my house last night, you guys. Um, it was just enough spice and just enough apple to give it a cozy feel. I keep saying cozy, y'all. I am in that mood. I am done with summer. I am ready for cozy. Um, that's where my heart is. Anyways, um, this was just a beautiful blend together, that chestnut, um, and there's no chestnut in here, Stephanie, come on now. Um, the rum, the cider, they, they just did really well together. So I have a couple more bars of the spiced apple chestnut and, um, yeah. And this was just downstairs. So this, I had a half a bar here 
and then I had this and that it just went into the 15 warmers I have here in my open concept. So there's that. Um, sugared corn pudding in drums of autumn. So fallen leaves, flaky pie crust and bakery bomb from L3. This one, I'm pretty sure uh, I had to have blended this with something because I don't have enough <clears throat> I don't have enough wax um, and I actually could have just put it in my living room and nothing in the in the other area because I was sitting in the living room couldn't tell you I don't remember sorry that's what happens when I wait too long to do this uh, here's another winter fell um, marshmallow fireside palo santo white birch icy snow vanilla this is from 2021 from a d stash um, I'm not sure Sure, what I melted this with, but y'all know I really like this one. Um, oh, I did this one the other day. I used two of two of these bars or two of these cubes from Knolls. Oh, went through two of them. Pumpkin pretzel latte. My house was my it was just my open concept pumpkin butter pumpkin pie toasted marshmallow graham cracker and vanilla bean mm. yes yeah um the pretzel was just this really nice doughy saltiness so pretty and then you have the pumpkin just you guys I'm truly enjoying Knowles. I enjoy how it performs in my house. And I got, I want to say I got about six to eight hours out of this, <clears throat> which is perfect. Um, because once again, I don't leave my warmers in or I don't leave the wax in all day or I don't try and see how long it'll last because I have so much wax and I have so much fun just smelling all the wax. So that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so pumpkin, pre <laughs> pumpkin pretzel latte. I'm going to slow down. I'm trying to hurry up because I'm already an hour in, but it's whatever. Um, okay. And see the, hold on. I'm going to bring this up a little more. There we go. So sorry if you can see that. I just want to make sure you can hear me. If I sound muffled. And part of this video, I'm sorry. I'm not redoing it. <laughs> um, it's always been you. This is a custom blend that I did from Pharmacist Daughter. This is iced almond cookies, marshmallow cookies, and vanilla waffle cone. So this one is just a, it, it's got the almond in there, which makes me really happy. It's got the, the toasty coat, uh, waffle cone which is kind of toasty cozy um so yeah this is just i really enjoy this one so this one i also did probably <clears throat> as a filler as well and with apple probably with the apple pie um cheesy pumpkin from sassy girl this one went all throughout my house this one is pumpkin, caramel, cinnamon, nutmeg, cheesecake, ginger, allspice, cloves, and graham cracker crust. This one is really, really pretty. Um, actually, nope, I did it. I think I did it with, I think I did it with crumb top. Did I? I really need to write this down. So two four six eight ten twelve four two four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah so i did a mishmash of stuff so i did vanilla cream from scentsy this is french vanilla and coconut milk super light and creamy i took it out of my club because it is way too light i can hardly smell it this was just a filler um, crumb top, which is in my club, going to stay in my club. Two of those. This is oats, butter, and brown sugar. Super beautiful scent. Um, just a fun, also a good mixer. 
Um, so pretty. I am so glad I have this in my club. So glad. So this and then alternating warmer is the cheesy pumpkin. So that was going on throughout my house, you guys. Um, yeah, that was really good. Uh, I could get the pumpkin off of here. The caramel was beautiful. And then you have the crumb top on this one. It just was, um, it almost gave me the vibe of, you know, when Costco does their pumpkin muffins with the crumble on top. That's kind of the vibe I was getting and I was totally here for it. <clears throat> I did cherry vanilla biscotti. You guys, this was an old, old, this is 2020 from a D-stash. Um, <laughs> this was so, so good. Um, so good. That cherry and the, the biscotti. So this is vanilla bakery dough, shortbread, cherry, and almond. Love cherry, love almond, love pistachio. This is this did better than I thought it was going to be. Once again, I don't know how it was stored. I just, I don't know. Um, I have a feeling that this one probably, I mean, from 2020, um, I feel like I would enjoy this, have enjoyed this one if it was at least 2021 or 2022. It was light. I could smell it. I enjoyed it, but I just wanted it a little bit stronger. So Let's see, what else do I got? Um, I got pumpkin and sugar donuts from Sassy Girl. So pumpkin, cinnamon and sugar and pastry. Went through a whole, I could go through a whole one of these in all my downstairs. I usually put two cubes um, in each warmer. So that's typically what I do. Um, this one, yeah, pumpkin, cinnamon, and sugar and pastry. It was just a, a fun pumpkin pastry. Um, cherry donut holes. So this one I blended with the um cherry vanilla biscotti. This is from Rose Girls. This one is maraschino cherries, fresh baked donut holes. This one helped with the cherry that I really wanted to smell, the baked cherry. I really wanted to smell throughout the house. <clears throat> so not mad at that at all. It was a fun blend. And um, I really, I think I have one more bag, one more bag of this. So that makes me happy. Um, This one, Sugar Cakes, Best Friend Spun Sugar. This is from L3. Fluffy yellow cake batter with whole vanilla butter, whole vanilla butter whole vanilla buttercream. Oh my goodness. Frosting and crushed vanilla wafers on top. I think this I just use as a filler for something. I don't remember what. Um, so this one was a little smorgasbord I did um, from Lavender and Speckles. Pink sugar almond cookies. Wow. Yes. Beth, good job. Good job. Um, almond cookies topped with rich buttercream icing and loads of pink sugar. This one, fan freaking tastic. Um, it, I got the almonds. I got the cookies. Then I did vanilla pumpkin sugar cookies. This one was from a D stash from last year. This one is a blend of our signature sugar cookies, pumpkin pie spice and vanilla cream. Super good. It, you guys, this was a fun, fun little mix that I did. Um, and then also from Teddy B's is it's fall y'all. So marshmallow, fireside, sweet cinnamon, orange zest, leaves, brown sugar, and vanilla. So this was an alternating warmers all throughout my house. And um, I'm going to say for me, the star of the show was It's Fall Y'all and um, Pink Sugar Almond Cookies. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. Then I went through throughout my whole house, finished up two bags. That's the thing, you guys. I have so many warmers and 
two bags and it's done. I, it just, it, that's why I gotta buy a lot. Sugar corn pudding cinnamon rolls from Rose Girls. Yes. Yes. This, wow, wow, wow. Yes. So pretty. Sugar corn pudding cinnamon rolls. I want more of it. Um, it was, it, it was gooey and cinnamony and sugary and performed well. This was so pretty. So there's that. And then I've got my Sensi in bands. So another little mixy mix I did. I went, I did two Hemingways and I did two Hocus Pocus. Now I can melt these. No, these, are, this is not the one that's coming back. Is this the one that's coming back? No, it's villains. Disregard. Anyways, I wanted, I wanted to just enjoy this. So Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus is blackberry, black plum, cherry, and spiced vanilla. So I blended that with Hemingway and Hemingway is ripe apples, sandalwood, cedar, and hints of spice. This was a beautiful blend. This was so fun. This was, um, this was dark and, um, and spicy, beautiful blend. Um, the fruit on the plum, I, I enjoyed this one. I'm going to do this one again. So that was a fun, fun little project. Another little project I did was I did rum raisin cookie, one cube, one cube, one bar to three of the Christmas cuddles. Christmas cuddles was from a, um, a bundle that I purchased and it makes no sense for me not to melt what I got in the bundle because it's just taking up room. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so fresh baked cookie dough, rum, raisin, and clove is rum, raisin, cookie. This is in my club. It is not going anywhere. This was so pretty. Um, and then with this Christmas cuddles, Christmas cuddles is caramel, bourbon, vanilla, cinnamon, and clove. Um, can you tell the vibe I've been in? On um, cold, this one smells like cigarettes. It smells like an ashtray, but on warm, super pretty. Um, and then the rum raisin cookie with that was just nice. And last but not least, one of my favorite little um, I wanted something. So I was reading one of my mafia romance books. And sometimes what I like to do is create the environment, create a scent environment into which I'm reading. So if I'm reading something spooky, I, I sometimes want something a little darker. And if I'm reading, reading like a cozy mystery, then I like bakeries. So sometimes I get in the mood where I'm like, what am I reading today? And this is the scent that I'm going to associate that kind of puts me in the book. So I was reading a mafia romance and, um, actually it's, um, he's kind of protecting someone and, um, he has a family farm. So, I was thinking firewood and, um, you know, the scent of the, the male scent and then firewood and some leaves. And so this is what I did. <laughs> so I did, and it's all scentsy. So I did cashmere leaves. So cashmere leaves is, um, leaves, apple, cashmere, and spice. This was all alternating warmers in my open concept only. Then I did Midnight Mahogany. Midnight Mahogany is black plum, cinnamon, leaf, and dark mahogany. Then I did Fireside Chats. Fireside Chats is shaved, shaved nutmeg, 
blood orange cinnamon smoldering embers and then i finished off with around the campfire around the campfire is mountain air fallen woods smoky embers that was a fun that was a fun little project um so that is it you guys that is my two weeks two and a half weeks of melting burning shenanigans and i appreciate you guys hanging in here that long and uh yeah so that that's all i got i don't know if you want to chat about when i melted or burned or if you have tried any of these um i i don't know i'm i'm out of words at the moment so um thank you guys so much for watching thank you for hanging in there for an hour and a half and um if you comment thank you for commenting um i really do appreciate every single one of you that has subscribed and if you haven't subscribed um and you comment or you watch i appreciate that as well so um thank you guys and i will talk to you later bye